Good morning and welcome back. You're joining us live and direct for the Shredders Low Cup 2014, the greatest event on the world body surfing calendar. Excited to be with you here for another epic Trans-Tasman Sporting Clash. This one with only two competitors. One heading home with the trophy and one heading home with a broken heart. I'm Mitchell Holmes. Joining me in the commentary team is body surfing legend, Willie Barrels Hudson. This year's location is the Snake Pit, the world famous surf break on Australia's eastern coast, tucked alongside the sleepy town of Byron Bay. Barrels, I suppose a slight pang of nostalgia for you, seeing you aren't out there today, body surfing your home break. Yeah, morning Mitchie. Uh, it's actually more like a sense of relief, really. I know how punishing the snake pit is, but I'm excited to see what these two athletes produce today, and I'm more than happy to watch it unfold from up here in the dunes, if I'm honest. Amen to that, Barrels. As always, we've seen the crowds come out in their droves for the Shredders Lake. An audience of the sport's future stars, as well as its legends, on this, a beautiful midwinter's day. Our Australian competitor this year is a Byron Bay local, known as the Prophet. Dominant on the world body surfing circuit, the Prophet is known for his telepathic nap for rooting the swell, which he says is summoned from the power of the ocean and channeled through the spirit of Australia. His New Zealand competitor is Ian Waves Anderson, who has travelled from his home in rural Thai Happy in the North Island. A relative unknown to the sport, Anderson is the Shredders Low Cup's first ever wildcard entry. Now that means he is unranked on the world circuit and we don't actually know a whole lot about him as a body surfer. Well, what's at stake today? Glory, prestige, patriotism and the hallowed Shredders Low Trophy. A betting man would have his money on the profit to win, but let's not write off Waves Anderson just yet. He's enthusiastic, he's hungry, and that look in his eye, it looks like he is really ready for this one to kick off. Barrels? Yeah, you're right, Mitchie. We actually haven't seen Anderson in the surf before, so we're unsure of his capabilities. But I'd be willing to put my money where my mouth is and say that he won't be taking any prisoners down there. Shredders like Cup 2014. There's no place you'd rather be. Stay with us.
crossing now to a Rover reporter. A man who knows a thing or two about riding the wave. 2013 Shred is Love Champion and Shred Vicious Calicides. Shred. Afternoon, Mitchie. We're underway down here now. Both surfers are in the water. The swell isn't too big. We're looking at two to four footers, but they're certainly big enough for these two to make an impact. Shred, there certainly has been a bit of a performance in the lead up today. Have you seen any interaction between Anderson and the Prophet? Yeah, actually, Barrels, there looked to have been some conflict as soon as Waves Anderson hit the water, and you can tell there is no love lost between these two. But at the end of the day, it'll be the body surfing that does the talking, not the banter beforehand. Yeah, exactly right, Shred. And it turns out that the Prophet has had much more to say than Waves Anderson up until this point. Agree, Barrels? I do, Michi. Anderson's performance has been like nothing we've ever seen before, and not in a good way. He's being out-served, he's being outclassed, and if he wants a shot at that trophy, he really needs some kind of miracle to happen, and soon. Shredders Low Cup 2014, all the action is about to unfold.